Hey guys, in this video I have an unboxing from the cubicle.us. I know that this is like a new style of video, but I'm trying just something different. I hope you guys like the overhead camera, and let's just get into it. So I have a couple mains in this box, mainly because my uh, GANs SM is finally wearing off, and so I thought I'd just get some new mains, see how they like it, and see what's new on the cubicle market. Alright, open it. Alright, so, we got some lube. I was running out of my old silk. It's funny, because every single time I get lubricable silk, they always have a new one on the market. So, the one before this one it ran out, this one came out, now that this one's running out, this one came out. And, I'm not sure if this is Angstrom or not, but I was told that, like, this lube helps with, like, controllability. Let's get everything else. Oops. Alright, this is the MF3 OS3, and this is the MGC2 from Pro Shop. But, uh, this is, I, I forget the name, but this is a Chi 7x7. I guess we'll start off with the uh, 7x7. Let's open it up. Alright, so so far, it has a really odd texture. It's like, it's almost like, I'm not sure, it's kind of scratchy. It's not a bad thing. It kind of reminds me of the uh, G Warrior, and as far as shades, honestly they're not that bad. I thought I would have a problem with them, but they honestly look pretty good. Alright, I guess nothing's left but to do first turns. Yeah, let's try not to get a pop that quick. Um, it's a little dry, but it's it's also a little loose. I might have to like tension it to make it harder But it's actually not that bad. I'm actually really enjoying uh, I guess like Frosty feel that it comes from the texture and then like feeling that also in the cube. I really like that I'm probably gonna do some experimenting with this. I might try to do a solve on it It's gonna probably take a while. Yep. So that's the Chi 7x7. Let's move on to the MGC before I open this, I did want to say something to the cubicle, um, like, about the process. I was really happy with what I got. I ordered this on a Wednesday, and it came a week later on a Friday. That's around nine days, minus weekend and holiday. So it only took six days to set these up and ship them. Like, that's really incredible. But, uh, yeah, so... Oh, it comes with a cube stand. It's a little... Well, slick. First thing I'm noticing is I really like the colors. I'm pretty sure these are full bright shades. I was told this is a really fast cube, but I just really want to get it set up. So, uh, let's do some first turns. It's kind of a little slippery right now because I can tell the lube didn't exactly break in, but that's fine. But yeah, it, um, it honestly feels pretty good. In fact, like, I kind of expected the opposite, because if you think about it, like, I've always done stickers on the 2x2. Every single time that I tried a sticker 2x2, I always, like, got, like, the satisfaction of, like, stickers almost had, like, some sort of grip. And when I was expecting, like, selling out a sticker list, I wouldn't expect that, like, almost grip almost. But I think maybe because it's bigger, it has, like, a, uh, like, some sort of mechanism that, like, makes it more comfortable in the hand and also faster to turn. Honestly, I like this. This is really good. I'm gonna break this in, however, and maybe I can get some more work into it. But yeah, this is the MGC 2x2. Uh, this next one here is the MF3 OS 3. The last cube I got from the MF3 OS was... It was the MF3 OS 2M. So looking out of it, I can notice, like, some of these shades are a little bit darker. It reminds me of, uh, the stickerless Alsu GTS. Yeah. So let's do first turns. Oop, it's a little. Honestly, I like it. I don't know if this is a new main worthy. This is different. I can definitely tell that this is a different cue that they're trying to go for. I might do like a couple, maybe like a hundred solves, set it up, um, break the loop in. But yeah, I really enjoy these. Yeah, I guess I'll do some solves on it. 
Alright, so after spending some time in this cube, I realized that it can turn very fast. The featured magnets and internal lube setup do help with the fluidity of the cube. I do find it unstable, which is why I was questioning in the first place if this should be my main or not. Because even when I tighten the tensions, it still has this unstable feel that I cannot get rid of. If you tighten the cube and then add a little bit of heavy weight, then this is going to be a really good cube for people with a rough returning style. Overall, this is still a really good cube. I paid $30 for this cube, and it can still compete against cubes that are twice its price. So if you were on a budget for cubes, then I would definitely choose this one to be your best option. The MGC 2x2 is the best budget 2x2 you can get on the market right now. For only $15, it can be set up. Personally, I love the scratchy feel. I know the scratchy feel is not for everyone, but I think it helps control the overall puzzle. This cube is very fast, even I had to put in a drop of Angstrom X loop to slow it down. This cube is currently my main, I was able to break the 2.5 barrier with this cube, and I think it's the second cube I ever had to do so. Most fast 2x2 singles are luck, so I usually don't count them, but I think it is worth noting that you can get sub 1.3s with this puzzle. Alright, so now I'm doing 7x7 right here, so... And I am done. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty close to the world record. So yeah, honestly going through, I like that like dry feel. Obviously I'm gonna lube this so I can like get the best out of it. It may be easy to pop if you turn too fast, but overall it's, it's not a bad 7x7. So this is the Chi 7x7 and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to try to be doing more cubing content, especially with this new setup. I think I really enjoy it. Let me know if you guys like it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.